Jack had stayed at his dad's for the weekend and um, when he came home it was about six o'clock in the evening so he went straight to bed um, and he just it, the next day he just never woke up properly the next day um, we called the doctor out and um, she gave him an injection and sent us straight up to um, Ashford Hospital where they diagnosed meningitis and there were lots of people running around trying to trying to stabilise him um, and he was sent um, blue lighted up to Guy's Hospital in London where he spent three days in intensive care um, and we came out on Christmas Eve. Um, Jack was like a newborn baby again but he was, he was 13 months old, he'd forgotten everything, how to drink, how to, he, he couldn't sit up or, or anything. He was completely blind when he came out of hospital um, but his sight did return um, after about, I think it, probably about four, maybe six months um, when his sight returned. He had to learn everything again, was a bit of a shock to all of us really. He, um, he was very slow in learning things, he kept having seizures which would put him, put him back again, he'd forget what he'd learnt. So the first year after contracting the meningitis was extremely difficult because we didn't really move any further forward with, with him learning anything. Jack is an extremely active 16-year-old boy where, who needs one-to-one, -one, sometimes two-to-one care. Um, he's gastrostomy fed. He wears pads. He needs to help to eat. Um, he needs hand-on-hand -hand, um, help with everything, really. If, if he was to sit in his chair and do some painting or colouring, he can't actually hold a pen or a paintbrush, so you have to help him with that. He's very sensory. He's um, probably about two years old in his development, um, and he is obviously the size of a 16-year-old boy. Um, he's, um, he needs one-to-one -one help with all his personal care and, um, he's just extremely difficult to understand because he can't communicate with you, he can't talk, so he pats his chest and shouts and screeches and makes a lot of noise. He does a lot of rocking and he tiptoe walks everywhere. Um, if you hit an open space, he can run at about 100 miles an hour, so you have to, ch you have to chase him. Um, he's very active and very unaware. That's probably the best way to describe him. We've now got um, six, six PAs who work as and when we need them. Um, because Jack's at school, obviously we don't need so many, so many hours of help. The advice I would give would be be to contact um, your local social worker or your social work team and stick to what you want and not be led in different directions by um, social services or whoever it is that's, that's helping you. Everything always takes so long to initiate and, and get what you want in the end, so um, early intervention is definitely the key. I am trying to plan long term now, um, we're heading towards transition period um, where Jack moves from children's services to adult services, so you have to think about um, the type of things that Jack would enjoy as in his adult life. Um, I have, what I would like for Jack is for him to be living independently from us as a family um, with his 24 hour care package around him. Um, I'd like him to have a bit of garden space um, so that he can have a trampoline and a swing in the garden and a hot tub if he's lucky.